It's a little fish with a bright red stripe along its side, called a red side dace, and listed as endangered in Canada. The Toronto Zoo has done videos about the fish. So they have an upturned mouth for jumping out of the water and catching insects like mosquitoes. They live in waterways along the proposed route for Highway 413. The federal government recently issued a recovery strategy and action plan for the species. Environmental groups involved say it took 15 years to get to this point with the government and that the change is significant. The recovery strategy identifies those streams in Ontario that are critical habitat. Um, so it is a bit of a game changer. Here's what one environmental group that's been fighting for this hopes it'll mean. Uh, is in fact an indication that the federal government intends to slam the brakes on 413. His group has been challenging the Canadian government in court to bring in further protections for the fish. Now the Minister of Fisheries and Oceans has until late January to add the extra protections. His assessment? Most 413 related construction activities and much of the highway itself would be illegal going forward. However, the provincial and federal governments signed a memorandum of understanding on Highway 413, with the feds setting aside an impact assessment. However, the deal specifies that the Species at Risk Act still applies. But building Highway 413 was a key election plank for the Ford government. A spokesperson for the transportation minister saying, we will further develop refinements and mitigation strategies to minimize project impacts to endangered species. This little fish is just the latest species seen as a potential roadblock for the province's highway plan. The western chorus frog is another. In total, the activist group Environmental Defense identified 29 different federal species at risk along the proposed highway route. Lorenda Redekop, CBC News, Toronto.